Hey everybody, this is Harry coming to you from the cemetery. If you can see. In Chipley, Florida. Hold on the window. Old cemetery here. The old part. Um, doing a little bit of traveling today. And while my daughter's visiting, a friend. Um, I figured I'd make a video, uh, part three, of my top 100 uh, favorite films of all time. And, uh, boy, this is, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> Jump camera, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, um, so this will be 50 to number 26 on my list. Um, so get ready to be put to sleep. These are my favorite films. These are not the best films. Uh, they're not ranked in any order. Um, the only ones that will be ranked are my favorite top ten. That will be coming up soon. Um, but anyways, these, these films are um, my f favorite films of all time. Ones that I've rewatched a few times. Uh, ones that I really love. Um, and, um, and I like to share them with you. So... Jumped into this uh, number 50 Blazing Saddles from 1974, starring Mel Brooks. Um, well, stars Mel Brooks, also directs Mel, uh, directed by Mel Brooks, starring Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder, Harvey Corman, Slim Pickens, Madeline Kahn, uh, and also Dom DeLuise. Classic comedy western from 1974, Mel Brooks. If you have not seen this, uh, I highly recommend you watch it. Good laugh. Still holds up today, even uh, with all the racist and sexist remarks. Uh, you just can't get over it. And Harvey Corman uh, just steals the movie for me. Uh, number 49, Young Frankenstein from uh, 1974, another Mel Brooks film, um, released the same year as Blazing Saddles. A uh, classic black and white film comedy uh, starring Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle, Marty Feldman, Madeline Kahn, Terry Garr, uh, Cloris Leachman, Gene Hackman as the monster, or the blind man, I'm sorry. Gene Hackman is the blind man, and Kenneth Mars. Um, and that scene with Gene Hackman just steals the show. Uh, number 48, Little Caesar from 1931, uh, directed by Mervyn Leroy, uh, starring Edward G. Robinson. Douglas Fairbanks Jr., Glenda Farrell, classic um, gangster film, uh, the one that put Edward G. Robinson on the map. Uh, number 47, The Sons of Katie Elder, 1965, directed by Henry Hathaway, starring the Duke, John Wayne, Dean Martin, Martha Heyer, Earl Holloman, George Kennedy, and a young Dennis Hopper. Uh, catch that one, uh, great western. Uh, about three sons that come uh, after their mother passed away um, and trying to defend the death of their father. Uh, number 46 um, oh, from 1967, In the Heat of the Night, directed by Norman Jewison, uh, starring Sidney Poitier, Rod Steiger, Warren Oates. Film that must, I think is a must see for anybody. Um, they did a TV show in the 80s, 90s, with uh, Carol O'Connor. My hair is all puffed up. Anyways, Carol O'Connor. But the movie stands out, um, and it should be on everybody's watch list. Um, that is uh, in the heat of the night, and it's streaming. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, it's streaming um, on the Prime, and it's also on the Criterion Collection right now. Uh, number 45. 1952, we're going to a musical, Singing in the Rain, favorite, favorite, favorite um, musical, starring Stanley, uh, directed by Stanley Donan and Gene Kelly, starring Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, Debbie Reynolds, Gene Hagen, plays the ditzy blonde, uh, Sid Charisse, and Rita Moreno as well um, in the film. And, and had the classic scene of Gene Kelly dancing in the rain with the umbrella. Um, I imagine everybody's seen it, but if you haven't, go rent it and buy it. Uh, number 44, um, 1989's Do the Right Thing, Spike Lee directed, uh, starring, starring Danny Aiello, also starring Spike Lee, 
Ossie Davis, Ruby D, and Samuel Jackson as the DJ. Uh, racial tensions are high in in Brooklyn, um, where Mookie, who is uh, Spike Lee's character, is, is a pizza delivery man. Um, must see another must see film, I believe, um, of the uh, late eighties. Number forty three, Full Metal Jacket, nineteen eighty seven. Uh, directed by Stanley Kubrick, starring Matthew Modine, Adam Baldwin, Vincent D'Onofrio, uh, if I can't pronounce his name, and R. Lee Hermy, uh, the great, great R. Lee Hermy. Um, first 30 minutes of this film is fantastic. First 30 minutes at boot camp, R. Lee Hermy uh, uh, is just uh, one hell of a sar uh, drill sergeant, and... Um, even just the first 30 minutes done it for me. That, the rest of the film was good, but that first 30 minutes was wonderful. Uh, number 42, 1933, Sons of the Desert. Laurel and Hardy comedy film uh, directed by William A. Sider. Uh, starring Dorothy Christie and Mae Bush and Charlie Chase. Uh, they plan on going to uh, Stan and Laurel. Uh, the wives are going to Hawaii. They don't want to go to Hawaii. They're, they're, they're uh, Sons of the Desert uh, Lodge uh, was having a convention. And there was partying and drinking and such. And they want to go to that. So they lie. Actually, they lie. They, <laughs> I got that wrong. They um, they tell their wives they're going to Hawaii on the steam cruise because they were, they were sick. That, that they needed a rest. And so the wives were going to stay back. And... Um, the wives find out because there was a newsreel footage of them at the parade in uh, at the Sons of the Desert convention. But it's funny. It's a great, uh, one of the first or er, earliest uh, uh, feature length films that Laurel and Hardy ever done. Um, need to catch that one as well. Um, number 41, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, 1989. Uh, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Harrison Ford. Uh, Sean Connery, Denholm Elliott, John Rhys Davies, and the Young River Phoenix playing the young Harrison Ford or Indiana Jones. Um, the last in that trilogy, well, now they made another one, but uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Anyways, I've only seen that twice, once in the movie theater and once on, on Blu-ray when it came out, or DVD. Uh, not a fan of it. Um, probably have to rewatch that one um, sometime. Me and my grandson watch um, films on Friday, and we've been doing the Fast and Furious films, and maybe Indiana Jones will be the next series that we'll do together, kind of introduce him to um, the Indiana Jones uh, films. Number 40. Eight minutes into this thing. Um... This is one of my favorite Cary Grant movies. It's not higher in the list because, like I said, there's no ranking. But uh, 1940s, The Philadelphia Story, starring George Cukor, or I keep wanting to say starring, directed by George Cukor, starring Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, James Stewart, Ruth Hussey, John Howard, and Roland Young as Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie, man, loves to pinch those girls. Uh, number 39. Another musical, this one from 1972, it's called 1776, directed by Peter H. Hunt, stars William Daniels as John Adams, Howard De Silva as Benjamin Franklin, Ken Howard as Thomas Jefferson, Blythe Danner as Martha Jefferson, and uh, Donald Madden as John Dickinson. The uh, musical, it was based on a play, 1776 Broadway play, and they filmed it. Uh, I watch this every year, just like The Quiet Man uh, on uh, St. Patrick's Day, 1776, every 4th of July, or around that time. Which also leads to number 38, another 4th of July favorite, Yankee Doodle Dandy, 1942, another musical, um, directed by Michael Curtiz, and stars James Cagney as uh, uh, Cohan. Uh, George M. Cohan. Uh, Joan also stars Joan Leslie, Walter Houston, Francis Langford, and uh, 
uh, James Cagney's sister, of Fran, uh, Jean Cagney. All right, number 37, 1971's Dirty Harry, directed by Don Siegel, starring Clint Eastwood, Harry Guardino, and Andrew Robinson. The first in the Harry, uh, Harry Dirty Harry films, Harry Callahan films, um, franchise, and probably the best, in my opinion. Number 36, 1973's Live and Let Die, directed by Guy Hamilton, the first Roger Moore uh, Bond film. Uh, also stars Jeff Accato and Jane Seymour, and the theme song was by Paul McCartney and Wings, Live and Let Die, 1973. Number 35, uh, my favorite Cary Grant movie, not in the top 10. And there's a reason, because there's, um, for that. But anyways, None But the Lonely Heart, 1944. One of the first Cary Grant films I've seen. His Girl Friday was the first Cary Grant movie. This was the second one, because this is when, when Cary Grant passed away in 1986. They did a um, film tribute on one of those uh, channels, like Lifetime or something like that. I can't remember which channel it was. But anyways, they played all his uh, his films, or a lot of his films, and this was one, None But the Lonely Heart. Uh, he was nominated for the second time for an Academy Award uh, and lost out. But it's directed by Clifford Odets, uh, you know, Cary Grant's in it, Ethel Barrymore, uh, Barry Fitzgerald, and Jane Wyatt. Number 34, Apollo 13, 1995 Ron Howard film. Directed by, or starring Tom Hanks, Bill Paxton, Kevin Bacon, Gary Sinise, Ed Harris, and Kathleen Quinlan. Great film. I love it. Just saw First Man um, with uh, Ryan Gosling the other day, and I love that film as well, too. Number 33, Return of the Jedi, 1983. Uh, directed by Richard Marquand, starring Mark Hamill, uh, Harrison Ford. Carrie Fisher, uh, Billy D. Williams, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, uh, all you know the classic, the last of the original trilogy. Not the best, but it's also a favorite. Uh, it's a favorite of mine. Uh, number thirty-two, Back to the Future, nineteen eighty-five, Robert Zemeckis, starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson, Crispin Glover, Thomas F. Wilson. Can't say any more about that. Everybody should know Back to the Future. Number 31, The Bride of Frankenstein, 1935. Directed by James Whale. Uh, starring Boris Karloff, Elsa Lanchester, Colin Clive, and Una O'Connor, the screaming Irish woman. Number 30, Ben Hur, 1959, William Wyler, Charlton Hester, and John Hawkins. Or Jack Hawkins, I'm sorry. Can't say any more. Number 29, A Day of the Races, 1937, Sam Wood has directed the film. Uh, Marx, starting the Marx Brothers, of course, Alan Jones, uh, Maureen and O'Sullivan, and Margaret Dumont. Uh, get your Tootsie Fruitsy ice cream here. Uh, this is the one where Groucho gets scammed for buying a bunch of books on racehorsing. I have an ice cream cart. Classic film. Uh, number 28. Captain America, Winter Soldier, 2014. The Russo Brothers directed it. Starring Chris Evans, The Avengers. You know everybody. Tony Stark. There's just a mess of people in it. My favorite, uh, probably favorite Captain America film. And probably one of my favorite Avenger films. Number 27, Grumpy Old Men, 1993. Starring Donald, uh, or directed by Donald Petrie. I don't know why I want to keep saying that. Anyways, uh, starring Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau, Anne Margaret, Burgess Meredith, Daryl Hannah, and uh, Kevin Pollock. Um, classic film, comedy film from the 90s. Still funny today, holds up. It's the Grumpy Old Man that was the sequel. Just as good as the first one, but not as great as the first one. And then number 26, 1963. Roger Corman film, The Raven, with Vincent Price, Peter Lorre, Boris Karloff, and a young Jack Nicholson. Watch this. I like, every time I come on television, I watch it. 
um, I do not own it on DVD or Blu-ray, which I need to uh, do that. Um, it has been a bit since I've seen it, but my favorite, probably Vincent Price movie. Anyways, thank you for uh, letting me torture you with this uh, list, and uh, catch you next time with the, the last of the list. <laughs> and from another cemetery. Anyways, here's one more last look. There you go. Dead and buried, just like this list. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up or comment. Wolf, I appreciate your comments. Ian, Mike, uh, anybody else. I appreciate it. Bye.